But I do want to cut to, I think, why this matter of what happened in Baguio is so controversial. And I want to quote the tweet of uh, Professional Heckler. Um, sabi niya, bakit pagka mahirap, pagka nagkasiyahan, eh, pasaway. Or pagka nag-break ng protocols, pasaway. Pero pagka raw mayayaman, nag-break ng protocols, eh, promoting tourism. Uh, I think it's a, it's a, it's a very... Uh, it's a very good tweet, I think, because it captured what a lot of people really want to ask government, and maybe the ILG can have some influence here in, 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 uh, across the country. How do you reassure our people na walang double standards? I mean, ang dami nang nangyaring ganito eh, di ba? Yung mga, yung Manyanita, ni Debold Sinas, and then to, and it's very easy for people in power to justify, rationalize after the fact. Sabi ni, ni Mayor Magalong, hindi, he was helping to promote tourism. But that's, let's, let's, let's remember the backdrop here. The mayor himself canceled Panagbenga. I mean, for, ano, so, so it, it gives people uh, an impression na napakadali namang magsalita ng mga opisyal pagka sila ang na, 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 nahuhuli. Pagkatapos yung mga tao, walang tanong-tanong. Sa presinto ka magpaliwana. Hindi, but, no, but that's my point. That's my point. How do you... There's no double standard. But, yeah. Kasi maski yung mga maliliit ating kababayan, hindi rin namin sa hilohusgahan. We, we still continue to investigate if, if what we've done is within the protocol or outside the protocol. Ganon din to kay Mayor Magalo. Si General Sinas, he was charged uh, in, the, in the fiscal's office. May kaso siya ngayon. So I don't think uh, there's really a uh, double standard. If generally, I can say we do not pass judgment even with the, uh, with the ordinary Filipino. We investigate first. Maraming nag, ano dito, maraming nag, uh, bibidyoke, mm. eh, pinapapuntahan namin para ma-confirm. Ma so, mm. in other words, klaro yan sa aming directives. Even in December, we tell them, but we report and we will investigate, we will verify. We do not pass judgment right away. So, it, there's no double standard. Malinaw po yung aming, ano, malinaw yung aming panuntunan dyan. Uh, well, you said in relation to Robbie's question, but a bit tangential, uh, I'll give you an example lang. Yung, uh, yung uh, Republic Act 11.332, yung uh, the, the law on uh, reporting notifiable diseases and all that, uh, uh, diba, uh, if I remember correctly, before the end of the year last year, eh, we, we, well, the police had already arrested uh, more than 100,000 people for quarantine violations under 11.332. Um, although marami sa kanila pinakawalan naman pero meron na detained sa kanila and, and for quite some time and charged and then the DOJ last, uh, last week says that uh, Coho Pimentel is cleared because uh, RA 11332 does not apply to non-public officials Well, yung mga, mga hinuli last year are th those are violation of uh, health protocols and violation of local ordinances. I can tell you that these were all based on local ordinances. Kasi nagpa, nagpasa ng mga ordinansa yung ating mga lokal na gobyerno. In the case of Coco Pinentel, uh, I can take judgment because uh, sinusgahan po yan ng mga prosecutors and they found no evidence. So I cannot make any comment on that. Pero yung mga hinuli la, uh, last year, they were violating health protocols, uh, health protocol ordinances passed by local government. So may basihan yung paghuhuli sa kanila. Hindi naman no evidence, wrong complainant daw yun. Uh, yun ang sinabi, di ba? Mali daw yung nag-complain. Uh, well, Actually, uh, hindi pa na, nagpa-pass on the merits of the case. Uh, kaya nga, Amy, hindi ko masasagot yan dahil uh, judgment po yan ng mga prosecutor. Eh. Hmm. So hindi natin alam yung mga pagsagot kung paano nag-respond si Senator Coco Pimentel. But of course, it was very glaring. Mm. And uh, we could judge it based on videos, based on interviews. But at the end of the day, it's what uh, what the documents and uh, affidavits that they submit, which become the basis whether or not they will be charged in court or not. Ah. I mean, you said, well, quickly, na lang, we're running out of time. But uh, just to that point again about double standards. I mean, yeah, to be, to be fair, hindi natin linalahat on, on either side. But what we're trying to say is the optics of, of everything. And we're not talking about the entire process. Na, hindi, may panahon ka pa naman mag, magpaliwanag sa hukom and so on. But what happens on the ground? Literally, that, that line na, hindi, doon ka na magpaliwanag sa presinto. Howie Severino, I mean, was drinking soft drinks kasi nagbibisikleta. Ilang okay. segundo lang, doon ka magpaliwanag sa, sa presinto. But when it comes to people uh, of authority, the line is, 
Teka muna, precisely what you said. Teka muna, intindihin muna natin. Baka naman may paliwanag sila. sila. That's what we're talking about. The optics on the ground that people are perceiving. Don't you think there's something to address there? Well, uh, we have to take it on a case-to-case -case basis to some extent. Halimbawa po, yung translation o mahabang pila na nangyari nung Black Nazarene. Uh, if I were to make a case on that, pahuhuli ko sila lahat eh. Kasi talagang they violated the health protocols. But apparently... That wasn't the case. And ang nangyari na lang, they, they put on security and made sure na everybody was following social and physical distancing and that uh, other health protocols were present such as face shield and face mask. Pero kung ako tatanungin mo, pwede silang ipahuli kasi they violated uh, physical distancing uh, uh, rules, no? Kaya lang, naging, to some extent, hindi natin magawa yan. Not to, not to mention na hindi naman talaga sila maikukulong lahat, hindi sila magkakasya. Uh, so again, uh, again we put it in a case-to-case -case basis. Okay, how it nangyari yon nagkataon kasi nag-iisa lang siguro siya. But uh, nangyayari po to on the ground. While we cannot uh, assure na that all our our enforcement personnel will be able to see this when reports are given to us, it is all verified. Maski yung sa Facebook, bine-verify po yan. Pag may nag-report sa Facebook, bine-verify kasi it's also possible na mali yung nasa Facebook, mga lumang postings, etc., etc. That's why a verification is very important for us. And uh, the, the application of the rule, uh, whether local or national uh, law or regulation, is the same, and regardless of the personality. So in the case of those personalities in, in Baguio, they will be investigated and a decision will be made whether they will be charged or not uh, administratively or not.